What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day, and today we have a great episode with, for y'all because I am joined by a woman of many talents, the one and only, mm. the luxurious, <laughs> vocal, sounding boss lady, J, the storyteller. How you doing? I'm good. I like the introduction. Thank you. And I, like I want it. I wanted to add your hashtags. I'll let you go ahead and do that for them. Okay. Go ahead and give them go ahead and <laughs> drop like that. Yeah, go ahead and okay. drop that drop that sauce on them. <laughs> like he said, I am boss lady J, the storyteller. Hashtag Tupac without a nose ring. Hashtag your favorite rapper's favorite writer. Mm. Hashtag baby Badu. Hashtag Lil Maya. Mm. Baby Badu Lil Maya. The singer Maya? Maya Angelou. Maya Angela. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Snap, I like that. <laughs> I like that. That was a great mix. Snap, I love snap. It. Um, so we are recording live uh, from the studio here in Charlotte. You are originally from Charlotte? Yes, I am. Okay. I am. That's what's up. So, it's very rare. Yeah. I was ready to say, I actually meet, it's, it's, it's like a minority at this point when I meet someone that's truly originally from Charlotte. I'm from not too far. Well, you're not too far from here. I'm from Hidden Valley. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm acting like I know where that's at. That's what's uh, up. How long have you been here? Uh, Going on close to two years, actually. And you don't know... You where Hidden Valley is? Nah. Just take a ride up Sugar Creek all the way to North Tryon Street and there you go. Okay, so that's actually my neck of the woods. I already say, I was ready to say uptown up to university, I'm real familiar with. That's Hidden Valley. Yeah, I know. I've probably been through Hidden Valley and didn't know it was called yeah. Hidden Valley, I, I think. It's a nice neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I got it's you. A nice yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, Sugar Creek. Yeah, yes. I see some parts of Sugar Creek. Right. So <laughs> you you originally being from Charlotte, you kind of you are witnessing firsthand this evolution of like Northerners moving yes. in, and I'm guilty of it. Yes, we're full. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No more space. Because mm. everywhere you look, I mean, everywhere you look, they're building houses. They are. Yeah. And it's we're full. Okay. You, you think so? We're full. I think we're getting there. We are. <laughs> getting there. It's like, that's what they say about Atlanta. And like, I've met some people that left Atlanta to come to Charlotte to come here. because Atlanta is so oversaturated. Yes, it is. I was actually about to leave here and go there. Mm. But then the market kind of did a flip mm -hmm. and I'm not paying 7% interest on a house. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone's going there for real estate as well. Yeah. I'm um, so boss, Lady J. Uh, mm -hmm. You recently had a show. Yes. I'm um, sorry, I missed it. But um, your show, uh, I wanted to pull up, had something come up. But before I was going to pull up, you wrote and said, this is not your typical or average show, right? It's not. <laughs> All right. So let's dive it's into not, it. Um, your shows, what exact type of shows do you have and uh, what art do you perform exactly? Well, what we had come up um mm -hmm. what you were referring to was what last saturday Saturday before yeah. last it was a um erotic sip and paint and so you know of course you you're painting but the pictures that we're painting are very explicit mm -hmm. photos um i don't think you want to hang them in your front room okay especially if mom was going to come over i don't think right. she wants to see that yeah. um then the poets they come out to do their pieces these pieces are not like um as the butterflies turn and the went no these aren't those pieces. So it's not Maya Angelo esque. It's not Maya Angelo esque okay. at all. Okay, it's D'Angelo esque. How okay. does it feel? Okay. Nice spin. Nice spin. <laughs> yeah, so it's not that. And then I had a um a dancer, she came out and she performed. Um it's it's not a it's a good date, is what I can't say. It's a good first day, it's a good date, it's a good get out the house, something different, something mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'm gonna come back and do this again. This was different. It's adult fun, it's clean adult fun. Have you ever heard of like Zane? She writes these erotic books, erotic novels. That's the kind of pieces that I write mm -hmm. and that I perform. And so when I do my sipping paints or I do my shows or do my pieces, that's the avenue that I'm going down. And so my EP, I entitled it Pornetry because it's lyrical porn. Like you can close your eyes and envision what I've said, what I'm doing. So when I have my sipping paint, it all comes to light. Mm -hmm. So you might see somebody spinning in the air. You might see a naked man, you might see a naked lady. Well, not well, yeah, naked or halfway clothed. Mm -hmm. um, the pieces that they're doing, it's very erotic. So somebody's going to make a baby when wow. they go home. Nice. That's my intention. Nice. Yes. I like it. So I, I, don't, I don't think I've told you, but I bought tickets to your next show. You oh, have yeah. a show coming up in okay. February. Okay. And now I'm like 10 times as intrigued. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come on there. You come by yourself or you come with somebody? I don't know yet. I okay. might bring someone along. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm trying to, I'm okay. trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to picture if I want to or not. But I mean, if you, if you bring a date, like I said, it's a good date. Mm-hmm. Like it's a good date. But if you and your homeboys come, it's a good time. Mm. See, it go from good date to good time. So it can be either one of them. Yeah. Okay. You're going to enjoy yourself because the one that's coming up, the show is from like seven to 10. Then from 10 to two is an actual after party. Yeah. That's where things get a whole. Yeah. Should get freaky in the after party. Right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> That's what's up. Definitely looking forward okay. to it. I just bought the general admissions from seven to ten, but I might have to double back for the after party. I ain't gonna hold you. Yes, and use promo code Boss Lady. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. But we just like to have a good time. Like I said, you know, we like to enjoy each other. Yeah. You know, just come out, have a good time. Everybody make it home. But when you go home, like, dang, I had a really good time. You mm-hmm. might leave. You're gonna. How can I say this? Still be feeling right certain, right? Because even the menu, like it's it, half of the stuff is either infused or it's you're gonna have a good time. Yeah, it sounds like a good time, top to bottom. And I actually, I love just in general how, um, in instances, sexuality is like put out there to the open. It's right. real expressive. I can't stand when people, you know, try to like, you know hide it yeah be try prudes. To, yeah and yeah make I it mean, like it's not part of life and i know it's a time and place for everything it is i mean i could see if it was like raunchy but it's it's art mm-hmm. like i could see if it was you know something that I, I just don't subscribe to but it's art yeah i'm a writer and i'm gonna bring what i wrote down on a piece of paper i want to mm-hmm. bring it to life yeah not only can you hear my ep and hear what i'm saying and close your eyes and visualize it no at the show you can actually see what i'm talking about yeah Ah, so you're bringing it. So it's not just the EP. And speaking of which, you're on Spotify and YouTube where they can catch the audio of it. Yes. Um, But the show's bringing the audio meets the visuals. Yeah. That's what's up. So with the audios, I've, I've found that I listened to two of your episodes. Uh-oh. And I was like, wow, this is nice. Uh-oh, what'd you listen to? <laughs> um, The one about uh head. Your hands. Your hands. Yes. Your hands and one more. Because it's your hands, it's deer pen, entanglement, um, creating rituals. Oh, my God. It's a couple of... Entanglement. Okay. I listen to your hands and entanglement. Um, But I just was like, I found myself in a place while listening to it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, this is powerful because it really... You have to get creative right? when you listen to this stuff. And it's all up to your creativity and your imagination being the listener. So I'm listening to it and I'm visualizing it. And I'm like, yo, this is better than fucking porn. (laughs) Right. See, these pieces, they're fact-based pieces. So it can either be about myself, somebody I know, a co-worker, a spouse, or what, you know, whatever. But all these pieces are fact-based pieces. I've been writing since 1998, mm. and all of my pieces are fact-based pieces. Um, I started off writing about, like, life in general, and then I don't know what happened. I started writing about some nasty stuff. I don't know what happened. I was at home by myself. and I, Let me try this and see what happens. So when you say fact pieces, are these stories that once occurred or do you have to like kind of create stories out of the these air? These stories have occurred. Okay. That's up to you to figure out, you know, did I do this or did somebody tell me their story? Or, ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there are instances where you and your girlfriend's been chopping it up and yes. y'all sharing sex stories and you use theirs yes. and kind of, you know, lay it yeah. out to art. Okay. Yeah. So when you have done that, your girlfriends that have heard this, how did mm-hmm. they, how did they like it? They're like, okay, yeah, okay, this about me, yes, yeah, <laughs> it's about you, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is like a one on a, a a coaching for me or a master class for me, if you would. And I say okay. that because for like the past year, year and a half, I've been bluffing, heavy boss lady. I ain't gonna lie, but what for like the past with? year and a half. I've um, like had an idea of doing erotic ASMR. Okay. And the reason being is because when I first started doing podcasts to like now, like I say like at least every other week at mm-hmm. the latest, um, a girl will be like, oh my God, your voice. Like, yeah, I'm just your voice. I'm voice listening. Yeah, I'm listening to your voice. And I'm like, man, one day I was just joking with my hunger. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to start telling freaky stories. Yeah. And she was like, uh, it'll sell. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, your voice, your voice is very soothing. Yeah. Like you have the voice for it. You can do it. Thank you. Okay. So you may have to, you may have to be my mentor a little bit. I'm cool when, with it. When it comes to that. Just yeah, like your voice, I'm, I'm listening. I can hear it. 
Just do it. Thank you. I'm like, motivated now. I'm gonna yeah, do it. you could do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to stop bluffing. I think what's <laughs> been stopping me is, one, I'm like, okay, how do I come up with these stories? I can use my own, but mm-hmm. I didn't know like if it took like, you know, hearing you saying you use yours along with some of your friends. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, that gives me more insight to just right. saying, fuck it, come up with some. Right. You know what I mean? Because I'm not saying I'm Will Chamberlain, but I don't, you know what I mean? I, I don't knock some down and have some, hey, some great, you got some stories. Great stories okay. and great experiences. Okay. Okay. So I'm like, great, like Tony the Tiger Girl. Yeah, great. Okay, great. Not all of them are great. Okay. But okay. you know it's levels. Yes, it is. Not everyone gets the A1. Right. Filet mignon. They, not everybody. Some people get the Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. Yeah, and then some people might get something else. Yeah, yeah. You can't give everybody everything. So for you, how do you categorize who gets what? It depends on the vibe. Like, I'm gonna be candid. Like the guy that I'm with now. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say no names, but the guy that I'm with now. And truth be told, I didn't want to talk to him. Like I brushed him off. Like ah, oh, whatever, I'm, whatever. I'm okay. And I don't know. He kind of like weighed me down. Persistent? Yeah, I was like, oh, I'll meet you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever, I'll meet you. And just something clicked. Just so, okay. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. A1? A1. You gave the A1? Yeah, definitely. And it, and it turned out good? Y'all hey, live together? We, it's been about a year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's been about a year. We, yeah, everything's cool. I'm like, okay. Like you said, you can't give everybody everything. Hell but, nah. you know, and what crazy thing is I had just did a photo shoot and I had put my pictures up. Mm-hmm. And he inboxed me. And I was like, ugh, next. Because mm-hmm. it's an inbox. What type of pictures? I um, They not none for church. Gotcha. I t- <laughs> so, so where were they posted at? Do you have OnlyFans? I don't. I don't. But I thought about that also. Yeah, I was very sad. Yeah. Have I don't have my own. I have. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely just considered it. But I um, I have a website. Then I, I put like social media just to get the buzz for my EP. So I posted like, hey, let me see what, you know. Try this out. And he inboxed me. I was like, oh, another inbox. I don't mm-hmm. know. Whatever. And he was persistent. And I was like, ah, I guess I'll meet you, whatever. And he's a really cool dude. Really nice. Really sweet. Um, I'm kind of nerdy. And he kind of he's kind of nerdy. So he we vibe. Mm. Because, you know, we're both kind of rough around the edges from different sides of Charlotte. But, okay, you're a nerd. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. You and her, me too. So does he have any type of, first off, um, the work you do with the porn tree, Mm -hmm. and like you said, you had the website with the photos. Mm -hmm. Um, How does he feel about that? Does he embrace that? He's a very strong, (laughs) very strong guy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's very secure. And I asked him, that's that's my first thing, because when I met him, like I was really getting into like, I'm taking pictures, I'm doing this. So I sent him a photo. I said, can you handle this? Like, can you handle what I'm about to do? Because- I'm not about to let up. Like this is what yeah. I'm doing. I've, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not having any more kids. I'm not. This is what I'm doing. This is my career. Can you handle this? Yeah. And he said, you know, I know you're coming home. So, mm-hmm. oh, there we go. Okay. At the end of the day, it's about where she lay. Right. You yeah. coming home? So I'm not worried about that. Okay. You sure? Because this this not a hallmark picture. Yeah. You know. So you sure you good? So. He's he comes to all my shows. As you can see, he bring me to shows. He's at my shows. He's at in the crowd like a proud dad with his yeah. phone. I'm like, okay, I can dig this. This yeah. is cool. Like, as long as I know that you coming home, like it's eye candy. It is what it is. Yeah. Do you? That's what's up. So do does he um contribute towards some of your newer he arts does. of work, right? <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. He does. That's he definitely plays a role in some of those things. But yeah. yeah. And he's like I said, he's supportive. And it's kind of hard or kind of rare because again, I'm not posting Hallmark or Walmart mm-hmm. pictures or talking about the sun, the moon, the right, stars. Right, right. I'm talking about sucking your membrane through your manhood so I can get your soul to collapse. Good lord. Right. Wait, wait, wait run that back. I said I want to suck your membrane through your manhood until your soul collapse man right and that's real and that's real spill too and that's real spill see i got too. you i got you stuttering yeah <laughs> i mind wanted got you stuttering hold see up what I'm saying? see that's how i do but um <laughs> let's 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 talk about that for a second mm-hmm. how do you feel mm-hmm. seeing the soul from a man leave it's exciting how did you do that it's exciting it's exciting yeah do you feel a, a feeling of empowerment? Like, I, I got this, I nigga. I got this, nigga. Ah, 
Yeah, man. it is. And we can't do nothing. <laughs> can't do nothing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exciting. Like, it, yes. We just be sitting there or, or laying, laying there, there just yeah. like yeah, speechless. Yeah, can't. Yeah. The toes be catching Curl, cramps. The eyes be rolled back. Yeah. And then afterwards, you just be like, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I, I just it's rec- empowering. Recently, I had a soul snatcher. Okay. Um, within the past few months, because I've been chilling lately, I've been trying to focus on this, but um, mm-hmm. I had a soul snatcher, and I've had soul snatchers, boss okay. lady, but this one, this was the first soul <laughs> snatcher I've encountered without a gag reflex. Okay. And she did kind of one of my shows. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell her about it. I'll send yeah, it. Kind of one of my shows. And um, I mean, it was to the point where afterwards. Mm-hmm. I think I counted about 20 times where all I did was say, wow. Mm-hmm. I just said, wow. Yeah. Like 20 times. Yeah. It'd be like that. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're getting into the nitty gritty of the stuff. So let me ask you. Mm-hmm. You said you started out writing poems and then it kind of evolved to this. Um. Did you go into it wanting to combine the poems with the porn? How did it find its? How did that crossroad find its way? And that's kind of, kind of crazy. Like I said, I started writing in like '98. Mm-hmm. I'm a really big Tupac fan. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a really like that's mentor. That's everything. Hashtag that's, Tupac without the nose ring. Tupac without a, like if my earlier shows were more, you know, NWA, more you know, Freedom Fighter, more all of that. And a couple years back, I got my heart broke. Like so I said, you know what? I'm gonna just start. Going to open mics and going to, you know, whatever. and So was, like Love Jones? Yeah. yeah. And then I started writing like these erotic pieces and I would send them to people's inboxes on Facebook, like mm-hmm. Messenger. I'm just I'm spamming your inbox. Mm-hmm. And then like, that's like, you know, I liked it. That's good. Oh, okay. You like this one? Let me try to make up something else. See what mm-hmm. So like every week I'm sending something to somebody's inbox and a friend of mine, actually a my a friend of mine in the industry and my best friend, they kind of coined it like pornetry. Even though pornetry has been out for a long time, I, you know, I really didn't know that because I wasn't taking it serious. Mm-hmm. I was a wife, a mom. I was focused on soccer and football, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But pornetry is a genre of poetry. It's been, you know, erotic pieces have been out for a long time. It just didn't just start with me. And so they said, you should, you know, this is pornetry. Like when I listen to it, I'm closing my eyes and I need some lotion. Mm-hmm. I said, oh. Yeah. Let me write some more. And I just it just combined and I had a record exec, you know, record exec come to me and say, you know, I like this. Let's name the EP Pornetry. Cool. Let's do it. And just kind of ran with it. Yeah. So And that's the EP that's on Spotify right mm-hmm. now. Yes. Um, yeah, you like like I said before earlier, you ain't lying when you said how someone said when they listened to it, it was like, I need some lotion. <laughs> I was at I was at work at the time, so I You can't yeah, it's yeah, not safe for work. Yeah, nah, nah. So I had to, you know, restrain. Um <laughs> so in your opinion, have you listened to male pornetry? Like yeah. so in your opinion, which one do you prefer? Pornetry or actual video audio pornography? Just the pornetry. The pornetry. Because sometimes actually like pornography, sometimes it can be a little bit too much for me. Mm. So but, do you consume it at all, like the regular uh, porn or straight pornetry? Straight pornetry. Okay. Like if I decide to, you about to get something started. If I decide to like watch something like that, it might be for like uh, inspirational purposes, if that makes sense. Um, it's not just let me sit down and watch it because I'm bored, but let me get something new and see what, you know, well, let me just get something and try it on him, hell. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> but... You talking about your dude? Yeah. Your 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 boo. My right? boo. Like, yeah. <laughs> so okay, so ha- have y'all done that? Like where y'all sat and watched porn together and like, Not it's like tried. We ain't got there yet. Yeah. We'll would you what? would you be up for that? I, I don't know. Yeah. I might yeah. spice it up a little bit, Netflix yeah. and chill. Yeah. You no. Know, exactly. Get some chicken wings and you know, some <laughs> drinking. <laughs> yeah. And then like you said, you can gain ideas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like you'll watch yeah. it together and then Shit, let me try that on you. Let me right try quick. it on you right quick, yeah. and then oh, let me write a piece afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll get back to pornetry. Speaking of porn, so when you did consume porn, mm-hmm. or when you do look to get inspired from watching mm-hmm. porn, what's some of your uh, top categories? I just go to Pornhub. I'm just Pornhub? gonna be honest, honest with you. I'm just gonna go to 
Pornhub and look something up. Oh, okay, cool. Because again, I don't really watch it like that. It's not really, you know, I might yeah. go to get, so, oh, okay, they did, okay, mm, and write this down. Okay. And that's it. Got you. Well, see, I'm the opposite. Um, not <laughs> as much anymore, but in my heyday, I was a porn connoisseur. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Like, I could tell you the baddest actresses. <laughs> I, I got like a, Pinky and what's the name? Cherokee. Ch- so Pinky's the, she's I say a, the goat. She's a, yeah, she's a legend. I say the goat. It's a three-headed yeah. goat. It's Pinky, Jasmine Cashmere, and Kelly started me. And then what's the name? Superhead. Like she she oh, taught man. me a couple yeah. tricks. Yeah. 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 Like what? What trick? What, what tricks happened? did you what tricks did you learn from <laughs> She taught me a couple tricks. The the, yeah. the double the, hand yeah, twist. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely a, a soul getter. <laughs> It's like grinding the soul. Yeah, You're like just grinding, grinding the, the soul out of us. Gotta, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I watch your soul leave your body. Yeah. It's empowering. It's a yeah. That'll do it. That mm-hmm. uh that pepper grinder will do it. <laughs> but yeah, um, you said you said Cherokee. Cherokee ass is yes. is, is, is the goat. Yes. She has the greatest ass in the game. Did, yes. But everything else is is cool to me. Mm-hmm. I like how Pinky was very vocal for one. Yeah, she was Pink, herself. Pinky was never quiet. Right. Um, and I think that's important. I, I think I like I like talkative sex. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Some people don't. I think that's weird to just be breathing. Yeah, and, yeah breathe hard. I don't like breathe hard and not yeah. say anything to me. I don't like that. I like can, a conversation. Can it be too much talking for you? Mm, I wouldn't say too much. Just you don't talk at the wrong time. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I don't talk at the wrong time. What about I'll, saying certain things? Can a yeah. certain thing be said and throw you off? It really just depends on what is said. It's like, okay, get up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Like, get up. Has that ever happened to you? Like during, it, like in the middle of sex, you has. just get up. Okay, get up. Yeah. Oh man, what yeah. happened? What was said was like, uh, nah, yeah, bye. Oh man. Oh, so he said something that threw you off. And you yeah, was like, it's okay. like, okay, get up. Oh man, yeah, bye. That's awful. It is. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, vocal. I like that Pinky was vocal, and she was just disgusting <laughs> like she knew that camera was on her yeah and, and she, she got it in. she gonna give you life yeah, yeah she gonna give yeah. you what you pay for with dudes and girls yeah she gives you life she's gonna give you a show mm-hmm. yeah. yeah definitely the goat um <laughs> shout out to the three-headed goat pinky <laughs> jasmine cashmere if y'all know jasmine cashmere listen i now i gotta look her up please i gotta boss look her lady, up I gotta look please her up. look up jasmine cashmere okay. How I said Pinky was disgusting. I okay. think Jasmine Cashman maybe <laughs> a, took that a level up. Okay. I mean, just wow. Because it's like it's worse, and then it's like worser, and worser is not even a word. Right. That's how. Yeah. Nah, Jasmine. She's she's in the best way possible. She's pigsty filthy. Wow. Disgusting. I have to look her up. Yeah, Jasmine Cashman. I don't know yeah. if it's with an S or a Z, but if you know, it's okay. You know. Google will tell me everything I need to know. Exactly. It will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really can't wait for this show. I'm I'm very intrigued. I like to have, uh, like I said, I like to have a good time. Yeah. Like you know how you go out in some places, it's like a, it's a whole bunch of riffraff and a whole bunch of. Nah, we like to have a good time because we're grown, grown. Yeah. So you know we got to get home to our kids and go to work, and we got schedules and it. But we like to have a good time. It's good, clean, fun. You might see a vendor dressed up in lingerie with their mm-hmm. items or whatever. Like we just like to have a good time and embrace your body, embrace you know sexuality. Because I mean, that's how you got here, mm. to be honest. But it's a way that you go about things. Like I went to a show, I performed at a show um, last year sometimes, and it was a guy. He he was tying people up on stage. It was intriguing. Mm-hmm. It was amazing, actually. And, oh, you went to that BDSM? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. and I performed um, for that show. It's lyrical healing, and that's an awesome brand within themselves because they let you be yourself be free and that's what i like to do i like to go to places where i can be myself and i'm not going to be judged so i'm not going to judge you because it is what it is that's right. how we got here yeah. um but it's the way that you go about it as long as it's you know grown and it's sexy and not raunchy and nasty mm. i'll you know i can attend it right so um the B- the bdsm the tying up on stage that sounds like something i'd like to see it was amazing he tied the girl up in so many different knots really but look at you yeah. <laughs> well, see, I'm, I'm into that. I've never got. I haven't gotten to the point where I have long rope mm-hmm. and tie like like make a pretzel. Like, uh, have you seen like the scissor um, video? How she's oh, yeah, like yeah, tied yeah. up. 
Um, and even that wasn't crazy extreme, but I haven't like done like the whole rope. The most I've done is like um, handcuffs. Yeah, I um, think everybody's kind of like done that. I want to try to, you know, the whole tie up knot situation. Yeah. I want to try it. Not there yet. Yeah. We'll see what happens, but I'm not there yet. But so to get there, is it like a, it's a level. for getting tied up? Is it, uh, what is it, courage on your end or trust that trust. a woman has to build in order to be tied up like that? Trust. Okay. I got to trust you. Like, mm. the trust has to be immaculate because you tie me up and mm. then don't untie me. Mm. You got a problem. Okay. So, <laughs> Even if it was your, your dude now, y'all still, been together we, for what, a year? A year. That trust. So that it's still trust. some we, type hey, of thought listen, in the back of your yeah, head like, that he can up. tie me up and hold and keep me and ransom keep for me. something? I don't know. Listen, I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> But no, that that kind of trust to let you tie me up, uh-huh. like the way he had her tied up on stage, mm-hmm. that's gonna take some. That's gonna take some time. Okay, I'm not saying it won't happen. We'll get there eventually, but yeah. that's gonna take some time. How much time do you think? I don't know. What would you do at the end of that first? We are gonna find out. Ah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If he's watching, um, maybe we are gonna find out. There you go. Hey. Okay. <laughs> we unlocking doors for you, brother. Yeah, we are gonna find out. Let me tie you up first and see what happens. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> tie you up first, see what happens. <laughs> um, I can so do you do do you imagine yourself being like because you know you're sex you're a sexually free person mm-hmm. and sex can be born okay. if you're not exploring, if you're not free, and if you're judgmental to your partner's um, you know, sexuality. Mm-hmm. Uh could you imagine like having like a a room or a closet or like a dungeon type thing? And that's crazy that you would ask me that. That's wild. Because I just told one of my close friends, I say, I feel like I'm about to be the Candy Burris of Charlotte. With these shows, I eventually do want a dungeon. I mm-hmm. eventually, yeah, that's the avenue that I'm going down. Who, who's Candy Burris, first off? Candy Burris? Yeah. From Escape? The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Never watched it. See, you got to Google. What are you I don't, doing? I don't, I don't watch a lot. I'm, when it comes to TV, I watch the same four shows my whole yeah. life. Very I mean, stubborn with TV well, shows. Well, she was in um, the group Escape. She's a singer. Okay. But Candy Burris, if you Google her, like she has a dungeon. She has shows uh-huh. that she um comes out and she does, and it's a dungeon. Okay. And it's like it's it's a no judgment zone. Hey, that's we talking about it. And it's like, okay, this is cool. Like this is this cool. Mm-hmm. So with these sipping paints and these, you know, erotic pieces and stuff like that, eventually I want to get down that avenue. But let me build up my, you know clientele first so when you okay so you're saying coming from the sipping paints that's going to lead to you having a dungeon um so is your dungeon going to be on display or is it going to be private just for you and your partner it's because what she does with her shows like they're they're like their shows you pay tickets and you go see uh-huh. her shows so i eventually want to get there so her dungeon is on display and she uh, okay see I'm trying. You I'm got tr- to Google. You yeah, gotta, yeah. I'm trying you to picture Google. this. After this interview, we got you. Got to Google. Well, yeah, I do got to Google. But okay. until then, I want you to help paint the picture for it's, me. It's a. I'm not gonna say it's a sex show, but it's like your sexuality. Just exploring, going deeper, and mm-hmm. diving into your sexuality. You know who Delicious is. Delicious, Delicious off of Flavor of yes. Love. Okay, bam. Yeah. She's been in the shows also. Okay. You have. I'm, so does she perform acts on on stage? Okay, or, with herself or with other people? Both. Or both. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a cool situation is what I can say. If you are a prude, if you, you know, a Bible thumper, mm-hmm. this is not for you. But shoot. Okay. You say that. But I'm going to say this. Some of the most religious girls yes. I've come across have yes. been the biggest freaks. Right. Because I was in church myself. That's why. Yeah. Hallelujah. I said I have five kids. Come on. Okay. Now. Go on and testify. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's do this. <laughs> let's look down the road a little bit. Mm-hmm. To your clientele has built, mm-hmm. and Boss Lady J the has madam. her dungeon. Yeah, Boss what would be the name of it first? Of I all? don't know. I just I see myself as a madam. I don't know why. I want to. I don't know. Madam is the ones that does the whipping and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you can see. Yourself. I'm in control. Ah. Yeah. All right. That turns you on. T- yes. Okay. I'm in control. That's that's what's gonna happen. I'm the opposite. I like to be the one. Oh. That's why I said like that's. I like to handcuff. Oh, okay. Handcuff you to my bed. You know, okay. all type. I like to do that. Like that gives me that gets mm-hmm. something That's, out of me. Like yeah. when I'm the one, like in control. It's empowering of her. for you. Yeah, it's like it's empowering for me. Yeah, yeah. But but see, it's empowering for me when she likes being in that submissive state. Yeah. 
Because, you know, most girls like it. Like, it's surprising how many girls I've come across that I've, like, tied up mm -hmm. have never or handcuffed. And they've never been down that road before. Wow. I'm talking 30s, whatever. Like, and they've wow. never done it before. And, like, they fucking like, cool, love it. Let me find out. Yeah. And they, <laughs> <laughs> and they fucking cool, love it. And, that's good. But since they like it, I like it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but you, the opposite, you would be the madam. Okay, yeah. so... We're in your dungeon. Haven't come up with the name yet. It'll I haven't come up soon. with the name yet. It, I got to come up with a, I got to get a whole game plan. I ain't, yeah, it'll come to you. Yeah. The name will come to you. Okay, so we're in the dungeon, madam. <laughs> Let's name three toys or instruments in the dungeon. The three main ones. Three I like, ones. and I don't know why. I like the whips. There's something about it. I can't really tell you what it is, but okay. it's something about that. I like those. Definitely have to have some handcuffs. Mm -hmm. And there's some... Something that I don't know what you call it, but it's like some gummy things you put on your your teeth, mm. like some oh my god, I forgot what they are called, but they're like they're so, gummies. So it forms to your teeth, yeah, so that your teeth feel like gums. I'm assuming, yeah. Oh, so you can use teeth in this instance, yeah. But, so you can use teeth, right, but it right, won't right. feel like teeth. Right, right, yeah, yeah. I forgot what it's, it's some kind of candy. I got it from one of the shows I went to, mm. and this was like a a while back. But this it does like form to your teeth, and it doesn't feel like you have teeth. Really? Yeah. And then you can it's no hey, it's yeah no, you can yeah. have at it. You can have a great time. Ain't gonna be like ah girl, yeah. open your mouth more. You get you some gag that. spray. Well, not you, but you know the yeah. girl get her some gag spray. Gag spray. What's gummies. that? What happened? What's gag spray? It's spray in the back of your throat. What's what's it? Open your throat up? Numb you it? Don't, it? Yeah, and you don't gag. Oh oh oh! See, oh. look at come on, come on. <laughs> That's tough because, like I said, the, the no gag reflex <laughs> yeah, I recently get dealt you with. Some gag spray and get you some of those gummies. You gonna probably marry that girl. Ah, uh, yeah. See, that's why I've been chilling, man. I'm, <laughs> that's you probably why marry I've been that chilling, girl, yeah. man, because I done been tied down off of that soul snatcher. Yeah, I wrote a piece called Soul Snatcher. It's on memoirs of a boss. WordPress. Com. Thank you. Okay, Soul Snatcher. What's that about? And can we get a can we get a taste of it? Mm, what is it about? It's self-explanatory. Yeah. That's that's what it is. I actually just wrote it not too long ago, and I needed like opinions as to what I should call it, because sometimes I write a piece and I won't have a title for it because I'll just sit and I'll write. And I wrote that, and I like I always do send it to the inbox like what you think this should be called, and mm -hmm. somebody says soul snatcher. Mm -hmm. Like that's we snatching souls. All right, so let's that's switch. All. Let's switch roles. Mm -hmm. How can a man snatch your soul? What gets your soul snatched? If you can snatch me mentally. Ooh. Yeah, it's not always about the physical. If we can have a conversation, if you can be intellectual, if we can have, you know, dialect, mm -hmm. that's attractive mm -hmm. to me. Because anybody can lay, lay on the bed and nut in five or ten minutes. But can we have a conversation? Can we, you know, when I say conversation, can we have like some in-depth conversations? Like, I don't want to talk about, you know, what Krishan and, and Blueface and them doing. I want to have a conversation. Yeah. I want to see where your mind is. You know, that's attractive to me. Mm -hmm. That's how you get me. That's how you snatch me first. And then you got other ways. But, <laughs> but first. Well, sexually, how can your soul be snatched? Hmm. We ain't got to, we ain't got to give all the souls. We ain't got to give all of them. Just, just, just one. All. Just one. Well. How can I make this? Hmm. Don't be politically correct. Listen, the day by day audience. <laughs> I keep it I? real with them. They keep it real with me. It's it's just something. I don't know. It's it's if I'm in tune with you, mm -hmm. and you've stimulated my mind already. Mm -hmm. If I'm in tune with you, you've already kind of snatched my. Then it's hard not to. Yeah, yeah. like your touch. Like uh -huh. you know, when you touch me, when you kiss me, like I'm I'm there. Yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. But if you have not stimulated me mentally, I need you to go ahead and go home. Yeah. So you said, okay, boom. So you're mentally stimulated off bucks. Have you orgasmed from non-penetration, I should say, or non-oral? Mm -hmm. Kissing, touching. Yeah. Okay. And the, and the next question is um, vocal only. No touching, just speaking. Mm -hmm. Someone's gotten you there just from speaking. My dude now. Yeah. Yeah, like as soon as he come, like, damn, you know. Mm. She already... In a situation, he like, well, I ain't home yet. Well, um, I'm, you got to be home. I'm, yeah. I'm here. Damn. Yeah. That's tough. Shit, probably just, you. I'm pretty sure you've just from texting then, huh? Yeah, like, it's, it's his voice. Uh -huh. Like, he's, I mean, you saw him. He's a slim dude, but his voice, it carries. Yeah. 
It's like, oh, okay. You in <laughs> you the room. It. You, you in the, the room. Presence. Okay, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, he, he cool. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, I, I've I've seen and I've heard stories. I've never attempted to make a woman come just for me, just for my voice. Um, I'm I'm intrigued to. But you see, your voice, you can. You just haven't tapped into it. Yet. Yeah, I haven't. I need haven't you to tried. tap into it. I haven't tried. I need you. I need you to tap into tap it. Into it? Tap into it. Okay. All right. Then that's my word. I'm gonna really tap into it with someone, yeah. and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. Yeah, I mean, tap into it. I know I can. I've, so I've gave like, okay, I will say this. It was one girl when I told her I wanted to do a ride mm-hmm. against her. She was like, well, give me an example. And I did, <laughs> but I stopped. She made me stop Why? after a while. I guess because she, um, she didn't want to, because this was like our first or second time hanging out. Um, so I guess she didn't want to, you know, put yeah. that out there too early or whatever. So she told me to it. stop. I was like, all right, cool. I might have got something. I need to stop <laughs> bluffing. I have, all right, come to the open mic or something. You plan i would be nervous as hell Why? like i could do this but an open mic of something that i'm just starting out on it's cool like i did my first like when i got back into it 2017 18 mm-hmm. i was in the back of the club in a booth mm-hmm. with a microphone because i didn't want to go on stage right <laughs> and i had the microphone in the back of the booth like this yeah and i didn't come out yeah and i kept doing like every week i come back and i still be in the booth like this yeah and then one day i just eventually he said you're gonna get on the stage yeah and i was like i don't, I don't do that and so he set a chair down, get on the stage. You're not hiding. I was like, I don't want to do that. I'm scared. Like, I don't want to do that. And after he pushed me on the stage, it's been on ever since. And he, it was a lounge off of Graham Street. It was called Mooney's Lounge. Okay. And he would do like an open mic every, I think, Wednesday or something like that. And I would go and I'd sit in the back like this. Yeah. And I'd send my pieces. And you wouldn't even know it was me. And I'd leave. Mm. I'm set my piece. And then in peace. So what was your first on stage performance like? My first whew, Jesus. My first on stage after whew, so many in the booths. hmm I was nervous. Yeah. Like it yeah, because I'm I'm shy, like I'm a really shy person, which is weird, but I am. Like I'm Well most most like uh creatives and artists are introverts. I'm yeah. an I'm an introvert. Like, like people frighten me. Yeah, like we be comfortable in our space. I'm right. comfortable when I'm making content. I'm comfortable when I'm doing a day by day podcast. That's my right. space. When you're doing poetry, you're comfortable in your it's space. My space. Yeah. 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 And so and for some reason when I started, you know, getting on stage, like rappers was like, Can you come do a cipher? So I'm not a rapper. Mm. I write poetry. Mm. But that audience took to me so quick and it scared me. Yeah. Like you guys are aggressive. I'm not. I, this is frightening to me. What the audience of your first time performing was aggressive? No, like the well, y'all yeah, could say yeah, because I guess well they liked it, uh-huh. and I guess they felt like well, oh, she can rap. No, I, I'm not a rapper. Uh-huh. I'm a poet. Yeah. Okay, and I don't do ciphers, and I don't think I'm gonna come to your show, and mm-hmm. I don't because I'm people frighten me. Mm. But if I'm gonna do this, I need to get out here and do it. So I just kept going to different shows and different, you know, whatever and performing. And it's what 2023, and I'm here now. Yeah. So it's still frightening, even when I'm up on stage or I'm doing or hosting or whatever. I become a different person. I become boss lady. Yeah. You know, at home and with my friends, I'm Brittany. This is regular Brittany. Mm-hmm. But on stage, when I'm out and about or I'm networking, I'm boss lady. And that's yeah. how I carry myself, like boss lady. But at home, I'm a mom. I'm Brittany. I'm baby. But on stage, psh, different person. Mm-hmm. Which That's when the alter ego taps yeah. in. Plus, that's your brand. Yes. You know what I mean? That's your brand. So you have to carry it out you know, as much as possible. Have you ever been at one of your shows, at one of your performances, have you ever been like turned off by maybe... The atmosphere yes. or other performers or whatnot. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. It I there was one area, I think it was called uh, if you I wanna say fusion lounge or something like that. I forgot where I was. I just know it was in the university area. It started with an F. But the crowd was just it was so aggressive. This was mm. a couple of years ago. I'm a poet. Mm-hmm. I'm not a rapper. Right. And, you know, they have me mixed in with rappers and ciphers and I'm I don't rap, baby. Yeah. And so the crowd was like too aggressive mm. and when it was my turn to go up i gave them the microphone back because i i don't you're, it's too much yeah like you you're could, way too much it's way too much it's way too much you're it's way too much and you felt that energy yeah like this is i don't want to do this i've mm. even walked out before performing at certain places because i don't like the energy mm. or it was 
negative or mm. way too aggressive. That's not my energy. Yeah. What is what is the ideal energy that you like to feel? I'm a mellow person. Mm-hmm. Like I, that's what I just let's keep it positive. Let's keep it mellow. I'm not aggressive. Yeah. I can be what I'm supposed to be, but for the yeah, most and, part, in your creative space, you you definitely want like a common presence. Yeah. You want to be all rowdy and riled right. up and whatnot. Because I'm not a rapper. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not a rapper, and I'm a girl at the mm-hmm. end of the day. Like I'm a lady, and I want to handle myself like a lady. But it was just, you know, a few shows I've had to walk out like, you know what, I'll come back again. I'll try this again. This is yeah. not for me. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Right. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Um, Well, listen, like we said, your show coming up this month on the 25th. Go yes. ahead and drop a little info on how people can get uh, access to those tickets. It's on Eventbrite. It is uh, Pornetry, the reggae edition. If you have Facebook, which I'm pretty sure you all do, I am on Facebook, Boss Lady J, the storyteller, and the link is on there as well. Um, If you want to be my friend, if you want to, you know, get to know who I am personally, I have two Facebook pages. I have Brittany Johnson and I have Brittany Shanice. And Shanice is S-H-A-N-E-S-E. And that has all my flyers. It has Eventbrite links. It has my uh, website links. My (laughs) everything is on there. Mm but my show is the 25th. Oh, excuse me. I'm co-hosting with her name is Gemini Williams. She is kind of what got me started doing these sipping paints because she did them a while back. And her sipping paints were. Yeah, the real yeah, deal. They were. Yeah, they were very explicit. Like what was going on? Like there was a, a penis on my shoulder as mm. I was painting. Wow. Yeah. Did you like it? It threw me off guard for because I didn't see him. Uh-huh. I was painting, and he like walked past. Just whoop. Like, oh, wait, okay. So this is what we doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I go okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Gemini. Thank you for um for warning me. So what about for the men? Like, do we do do we get a titty on the shoulder? Like, what do no, we? No, what she does, and I like her. As a matter of fact, I met her on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Her name is Duchess Dior. She does play with the audience. I like her. Like, she's it's. It's adult. It's yeah. fun, you know. It's classy. It's not. It's not players club. It's not the pink. Right. It reminds me of a classy version of Amsterdam, like the actual. Yeah. Because in Amsterdam they have live sex shows. Oh wow. Like Amsterdam, you think we ain't we, there yet? Yeah. You think we turn up in America? Oh, I already know. I yeah. Amsterdam is buck wild. Like the red light yeah. district, they have live sex shows and all yeah. that. And that's, I, to be honest, I want to visit one of those just to see. Yeah. Because I've heard so much. Yeah. I just want to see. I don't want to be a part of it. I just want to see. Like, I'm taking pictures. I yeah. got to see this. Well, see, the, here's the thing. Here's why people don't know so much about Amsterdam. Fun fact. Oh, you can't take There's pictures? no pictures of anything in Amsterdam. Wow. They are under the grid for everything. So what everything. goes on in Amsterdam stays, stays in, in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. There's no pictures or recording of anything. I walked wow. into a mushroom shop. I was like, oh, shit. Tried to put my phone. I was like, I ah, won't do that. I won't do that. Yeah. The red light district. So for those who don't know the red light district is like a district or a strip in Amsterdam where there's windows big you know windows like door size windows Mm -hmm. and it's surrounded by red lighting that's why I call the red light district but there's one by one prostitution is legal in Amsterdam so you have prostitutes in these windows displaying their bodies Wow! and behind them is a curtain to a small room so you're walking by you see a prostitute you like you knock on the window, she cracks it open. Y'all discuss rates. Wow. You go in there, y'all go behind the curtain in front of everybody. Well, not in wow. front of everybody, but, but kind yeah. of, yeah. And you, you know what I'm saying? You do what you got to do. Wow. You complete like your on transaction. The movie. Yeah. Like on the movies. You that's complete wild. your transaction. So that's the red light district. So yeah, Amsterdam is very wide open. Like, like I've heard stories. I just want to go because I've heard the stories. Like, yeah. I, like that's on the bucket list. I uh-huh. have to go and see this before, before I kick the bucket. Yeah. Because I've heard so much about it and... You know, I don't want to take my shows there. That's not what, that's what I'm going for. But it's cool. Yeah. I want to go. It's it's inspiring, not to the level of that's where you want to get to, right? But just seeing the openness, yeah, from so much, you know, right. sexual activity, sexuality going yeah. on and whatnot, and it being on display that can be kind of motivating. Because it's like, okay, you know, if they can take it to this level, then you know, ain't no telling where I can take. It. Yeah, right. Yeah, I yeah. can watch what they got going on and. Right mm-hmm. about it. Exactly. Yeah. I, I want to revisit too. I was with my family when I went. 
So I went to the red light district. I saw the prostitutes. I went into coffee shops, which is weed shops. Okay. When I was a heavy smoker at the time, went into a mushroom shop, but I wasn't a mushroom taker at the time. Okay. So now it's opposite. Now I go on journeys, which I call, you know, my mushroom trips, okay. but I don't smoke weed. So okay. it's the opposite. So I got to go back. I got to turn it into a guy's trip, go to the live sex shows. Yeah. And you know, and tell me about it when you go. Yeah. If you go I, before I go, tell me what happens. I will. I will. Amsterdam is on the list. Um, but yeah, and that's that's what it gets to. Okay, so we're speaking of you know what it can get to. So let me ask you: the year twenty twenty three, we're still in quarter one. Mm -hmm. What's to come from Boss Lady J in the year twenty twenty three? What's to come? I will say a lot of growth for one. Um, career wise, like this, you know, I love my nine to five. It's cool; it pays the bills. Mm -hmm. But I want to shy away from that because I have a talent, I have a gift, and it's something that I'm trying to do with myself. Yeah, and I'm a hell of a writer. And I guess I got some stage presence also, is what they say. Um, but just to expand my business, um, broader, my brand, brand myself, because I'm doing this, you know, this is me. I don't have yeah. a team. I'm branding right. myself. Um, to expand my shows. Like, I like the sipping paints. It's cool. I like it. I enjoy the vibe. Um, I like writing. I like, you know, EP. I like all of that. How can I combine all of this into one? How can I brand myself some more? How can I expand myself outside of Charlotte, North Carolina? Mm -hmm. um, just becoming a bigger presence in Charlotte, so that way I can't take myself somewhere else. Yeah. Um, just want to expand. Yeah. That's, expand and growth. Yeah. And growth. Yes, yeah. expand and growth. Like I said, I got five kids. Um, yeah. Mm. It's a lot of college funds. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of college funds. Scholarships. Are they playing sports? My oldest, who's about to graduate in June, he wants to wrestle. Okay. So I'm preparing my mind for that yeah. because it's not every day that you see your child slammed on a mat or in a submission hole or whatever. I mean, whatever. Yeah, it comes with it. You, you ain't going to be one of those moms that say he's he, he just got slammed and, and he's I'm, in a I'm tough predicament. You ain't going to run down there. The you on the mat? I'm on the Come mat. Come on, boss lady. Don't be that type I'm on the of mat. Mom. I've been on the field. He played football. What, I'm on what, the mat. What the dad say on Friday? He's a man. I told him better than that. He's a man. Let him be a man. <laughs> he going to get up. Yeah, he's, he gonna yeah get I understand up. that. That's, yeah, but I'm on the mat. Oh, when on, my bro. daughter played football, I was on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Mm -hmm. oh, you gotta, you you gotta let baby. them rock, man. I'm, I I had to eventually let it happen because again, like I said, my daughter played football. She played football from like age six to like last year mm -hmm. for last. And to tackle see, football, yeah, okay. She was the only girl on her team, like for yeah. Period. Is this oh, is this Pee Wee League, Little League, or she was middle um, school? Well, she did middle school, uh -huh. um, and then she was on the NC Giants. They're a, a coalition here, but to watch my daughter get hit by boys with a helmet and. Mm -hmm. You know, they think that this is a boy, and they, mm -hmm. so they really hitting my daughter. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. Or if they know she a girl, they may want to. But they would never know until after the game. You know, uh, you take your helmet yeah, off. And, yeah. you know, her very first game, she took a helmet off, and she got long hair with yeah. beads on. And, like, yeah. that's a girl. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so it was like they never knew that it was a girl until mm -hmm. after because mm -hmm. they knew that somebody had a girl on their team. Right. But, but they... how do I pinpoint yeah. who this is? Yeah. So, you know, but at the end of every game, she took a helmet off and beads came. I'm like, oh, man, I got dropped by a girl. You did. Yeah. You I, did. I, I had a girl on my team in Little League. She was tough. Yeah. She was tough. She was a beast. Yeah. Um, but, yes, like you said, growth and expansion, that's what's to come for you, for yes. everyone listening. We're spreading that energy to everyone because yes, I, yes. I definitely feel that this is the year for growth and expansion. Yes. Cause I'm on the same wave. I don't want to be just charlotte based with day by day and right same with you with um you know your brand with boss lady jay the storyteller and your porn <laughs> tree. yes um and so like we said real quick the ep um how can they find that again i'm on apple spotify title um amazon i have a youtube page where my um, pieces are on youtube as well it's simply boss lady jay the storyteller all one word um but yeah download my ep and follow me, like, subscribe, share, come to some shows, come have a good time. All the above. And I'm a I'm a I'm a follow up um with how the show went <laughs> when I hop on day at night. Make sure y'all tune in to day at night every <laughs> Thursday night on IG Live at nine o'clock on IG at day by day. After I go on the twenty fifth, I'm gonna follow up with how it went down. Cause I'm Thank you. I'm definitely looking forward to it and very much intrigued. <laughs> Still thinking who I wanna bring. Um, but we'll get to that. 
Um, but in the meantime, everybody that tuned in, whether you watch it on YouTube, listening on whatever podcast platform, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, I truly appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure that y'all hit like and subscribe for yes. every future piece of content. Until next time, mm-hmm. I'm your host, Day Day. We were joined by Boss Lady J, the storyteller. Thank you for your time. Of course. Thank you for pulling up. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, yes. stay sane. But most importantly, stay blessed. Peace.